Hey guys, Michael23B here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. And today, what I have to show you is this magical four-way minecart intersection. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test. And the way this works is that it will go to whatever destination um, that I'm holding in my hand. So if I'm holding the diamond, we're gonna go to the diamond destination. So let's give that a test. And you see, just like magic, we end up here, and I can hold the emerald in my hand, and we'll go to the emerald destination. Now, it doesn't always switch right away, but we should end up here uh, in the end. And I can hold the iron, and we'll go to the iron destination. And, uh, yeah. Now, as you might guess, this isn't actually magic, but it can be applied to several different types of redstone devices, such as this piston door, so it won't open if I'm holding an emerald or the iron. Uh, this one will only open if I'm holding the gold ingot. And similarly, with the iron door back here, it will only open if I'm holding the iron ingot, and then it will close again. So, Simply Sark on YouTube actually covered this very recently, which is what inspired me to do this. And uh, the way it actually works is villager. So, if I go ahead into my options, and then I go into music and sounds, and I turn on friendly creatures, and then if I clear the effects from all the entities, you will see that there are actually villagers in the ground right here. So essentially what will happen is that they will look at me and when I'm holding a certain item, uh, they will detect that I'm holding that item and it opens the door. So here is exactly what is happening. If I give this villager a job, he now takes that job and he now trades for emeralds. So if I hold this emerald, uh, the calibrated skulk sensor can actually detect when he swaps items in his hand. So right now he's swapping between two items and we're getting a signal every time. Uh, but the way to limit that is that we can actually block off some of its trades by trading with it. And then now that one is blocked off and he'll only trade for this one. Um, and then something else we need to do is replace that job block. So without the job block, he can't restock his trades. And uh, yeah, these ones will be permanently out of stock. And then if we fully buy up everything um, except for one of these, we'll be able to essentially limit this to only one item. And so now by buying up everything except one of these items, I've now gotten him to detect a diamond. So if I'm holding diamond in my hand, then he'll want to trade that for an emerald. And uh, the skulk sensor will be able to detect that. So let's hold a diamond. And you see we get a redstone output. Now if I put away the diamond, we get another redstone output. So essentially the skulk sensor is detecting when he holds an item or he puts that item away. Now, as I said, there are a lot of redstone devices you could use this for. And uh, this was actually added in 1.20.2. So somewhere between 1.20.1 and 1.20.2, they changed something in the code to allow um, the villager held item thingy to trigger uh, the skulk sensor. And something else, this... Uh, comparator signal is actually on 4. So if we input a comparator signal 4 into this side of the calibrated skulk sensor, it's now um, only listening for uh, essentially that villager held item thing and some other things, but uh, this is the main usage for it. But one of the downsides of this is that this actually only works during the daytime. So if I were to set it to night, uh, now it's nighttime, and this villager won't actually hold an item. So, um, it doesn't matter what dimension you're in, doesn't matter if you're in nether or end or overworld. Uh, if it is nighttime, um, then this villager, technically you can still trade with it. I could go ahead and buy emeralds here. Um, but he's not going to want to hold up an item in his hand, despite, you know, ho however many times I hold up a diamond, he's not going to put that in his hand. But if I set it back today, you'll see that, that he now holds the item. So something else I can also do is I can have a calibrated skulk sensor tuned to a power signal of three, and that can detect when I right click an item, specifically a food item. So if I right click this potato, we get a signal. I right click it again, we get another signal. So if we combine these two, um, we can do some really cool stuff. So what I made with this is basically a working piano using only the hotbar item. So if I go ahead and stand in the center here, you will see that this light has turned on. So we have emerald, gold, uh, iron, flint, etc. And whichever one I switch to is the light that will turn on. And then if I go ahead and right click the potato, you'll see we get a note and it, the note will switch uh, based on what I'm holding. So you can see each note is different. And I can switch to whatever one I want, and I'll do that. 
Uh, but the issue is this is very not spam proof. So if I go ahead and switch to a whole bunch of items, all these lights will turn on and you know, we get a whole, a whole bunch of notes when we right click potato. So uh, yeah, that's a problem. And so the problem is that calibrated skulk sensors have a one second cooldown. So during that one second, they're not able to detect any new changes that happen. So I could hold a diamond and that light will turn on. I could let it go and it'll turn off. But if I hold it and then let it go really quickly, this light is still on even though we don't want it to be. So that means if you're making a device with this, such as my piano here, um, it's just highly impractical because you have to wait a second or longer to switch between the notes. And then, yeah, it's just not spam proof at all. Uh, but there still are several redstone devices that this is very useful for. And that is where the minecart intersections come in. This is perfect for minecart intersections. So back at our intersection, we've got four villagers here, one for each direction we want to go. And these guys are actually buried one and a half blocks below the ground. So you can see they're sitting on a half slab here, they're sitting in a minecart, and they're sitting just high enough to not suffocate and also to see the player. And then what we've got here is a calibrated skulk sensor on a power signal of four. So that's listening to the little held item thingy. And then we've got a T flip flop here that switches the track. So you can see if I go ahead and hold an emerald, this guy's going to see that. And then if I go ahead and put a minecart here, it's going to reset that. So if I go ahead and give it a test again, we're going to go ahead and go to the iron destination. And as you can see, it doesn't always uh, react right away. And the the reason for that is that these guys are actually talking to each other. If you go ahead and turn on hitboxes, uh, those blue lines are their sight line. So you can see they're actually looking directly at each other. And whenever they're looking directly at each other, that means they're talking or gossiping. Um, and that means they're not going to react to the player right away because you know they're busy chatting with one another, um, which is something we don't exactly want. So the way we can fix that is by placing blocks in between them so that they can't see each other. Uh, but that presents a different issue in that this guy will only see me when I'm right here. Um, villagers ca actually can, they can see what item you're holding from three blocks away. Um, but what, whenever we have something like this, um, it presents a different issue in that the guy over here won't really see me until I'm over here. And then this guy won't really see me until I'm right here. Um, and that just means they'll have an even worse reaction time. Um, so there is another way to solve that. And the way to do that is to reposition the villagers. So I've put these villagers on the outside of the intersection this time, and I've actually made the intersection slightly smaller. And so each one of these guys' sight lines is blocked by the half slab, so none of them can see each other. And if I go ahead and give this a test, I can go to the emerald location by going here. I can go to the gold location like this. I can go to the coal destination over here. And I could go to the iron destination over here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very quick to react. And so the same deal with this one. Each guy is buried one and a half blocks. We have a waterlogged skulk sensor. That way the skulk sensor doesn't make any sound. Um, and that's tuned to power signal four. Uh, and instead of a latch on this one, I actually just have a timer. So this is a comparator timer that turns off after a little bit. Um, so it switches the, the track. So let's go ahead and hold a piece of coal. You'll see the track switches. And then just after a little while, it switches back. And that is how that one works. Now, before we get too ahead of ourselves, I'm gonna show you an even simpler design. So instead of a four-way intersection, this is a three-way intersection. And this villager, he accepts emerald or rotten flesh. Um, and so if I go ahead and hold the emerald, you'll see the track switches for a brief moment. And the way it does that is that we have a skulk sensor. It's waterlogged, so we don't hear it. It's tuned to four, and then it goes uh, up into the rail to power it. So if we go ahead uh, and give it a test, we're gonna go to the emerald destination. I'm gonna hold the emerald in my hand, and we'll switch to there. And if I continue holding the emerald in my hand, we'll go back to where we came from. And if I don't hold the emerald in my hand, I'll go over here. Uh, I can hold the emerald again, and we'll go over here. So this makes it much better than your uh, original design so if you weren't going to use uh, villagers in your design you might have something like this so if I go ahead and press this you can see we come to a stop and now we have to decide uh, which direction we want to go I want to go over to here um, and yeah you can have a stop like this and it works uh, but it's not as cool and if you didn't want to stop um, you're essentially relying on the player to hit a button or hit a chest um, right in time to switch 
Um, but yeah, using the villagers makes this much better in that you don't have to, you know, aim at something to switch tracks really quickly. You can just hold something in your hand and it will switch automatically. Now, I just have two more designs to show you. This one is a two lane four way intersection. So if I go ahead and pop in the minecart here, and let's go to the normal destination, you'll see we go around. Um, this one still takes some time because they have to be able to see me as I'm coming. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect, um, but we'll just keep going around till we switch to uh, the proper track. And uh, yeah, so if we go down, we have the same exact deal. We have a waterlogged skulk sensor, and these by these guys are buried one and a half blocks. And then that just flips a latch, and then we have these detector rails to flip that latch and reset it. And last, but certainly not least, I have a multi-destination terminal here. So instead of the four-way intersection, uh, we now have several destinations we can go to from this one, uh, basically, train terminal. So if I get in the cart and hold the pumpkin, for example, I can go to the pumpkin destination, and you can see uh, we end up all the way at the pumpkin. I could go back and I could hold the emerald, for example, and I'll go to the emerald destination. Um, and this works just by all these villagers. So this one, for example, he trades for iron. This one trades for emeralds. This one trades for uh, diamond and etc. It goes down the line for each different one. So whatever the villagers trade for is an item uh, that you can use as one of your items to, to hold. Uh, when you're wanting to go to a specific destination. And this one is stupidly simple. All we have is some trap doors blocking the villagers' view from each other. Each one of those villagers is sitting in a minecart on a half slab. And then if we go over here, we have a barrel with six shovels in it, and that's outputting a signal strength of four to each and every calibrated skulk sensor, uh, which allows it to listen to the villagers' little held item thingy. And then whenever that gets triggered, it goes down into this redstone torch and up into the rail. And that switches it to uh, whatever destination we want to go. So yeah, overall, just very, very cool stuff. This is something new to 1.20.2 and above. So it's not entirely new, um, but yeah, still very cool. And I think it works great uh, for minecart intersections such as this. So obviously this can be used for a lot of different redstone devices. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you all these cool minecart applications. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I can't wait to see what you do with this. I hope you can build some really cool stuff with this. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in 2024. Have a good one.